Hey, this is Christian from drawtrainer.com. We're going to be showing you today a very basic video about how to set preset page sizes for the different things that you may be doing all the time. And so as an example, we do a lot of business cards with printlikethis.com and so we have a certain page size that we need set up. So this is one way that we can sort of create a blank page that is the right size for the right product. And the way that we're going to do that, uh, and, and then also to let you know, the alternative to that is to set up a actual template where you save that file, and uh, basically what you do is you just open that file, and then you edit it, and you save it as whatever the name of your project is, and that is the method that I pr prefer, excuse me, but uh, sometimes you just want to open up something that's that size and just start working on it right away. Uh, for, for whatever reason. So we're going to show you this. It's a very quick, very basic video. Okay, so you go new, new file, and then what we're going to do is come in here. And what we're going to be doing is adding in a preset here. Okay, so we're going to set our page size uh, at printlikethis.com. They require an eighth inch bleed for your business card. And so for a three and a half inch by two inch business card, which is a standard size business card, you're going to need to add a quarter inch to the width and a quarter inch to the height in order to make an eighth inch bleed. And that's because it's splitting that quarter of an inch between the left and the right, and then it's splitting it between the top and the bottom. So half of that quarter inch is going to be one eighth of an inch. So you got an eighth of an inch on both sides, and that gives you an eighth inch bleed all the way around. And uh, that bleed means that the graphic is going to extend past the edge of the printed card by one eighth of an inch and so that when they go to cut that card your print will actually go all the way to the edge so when they do a full bleed that's how it's done you print a larger uh, larger image than you need and then that product is cut down to its final size okay so we're gonna add a quarter inch to that 3.5 width and so that's gonna be 3.75 instead of 3.5 and then on our height we're gonna go 2.25 so we got 3.75 by 2.25. We know we want to be working in CMYK mode because they're printing in CMYK. RGB is for on-screen display only, and it's a uh, you're producing colors by emitting light, and CMYK produces color by uh, refracting light. And so that's when something bounces off the piece of paper. You're using CMYK uh, to to display colors. All right. So our rendering image, our resolution, is uh, is going to be 300 DPI. That's pretty standard at actual size for any printing company that you use. Um, now, th these are the settings that I use for printlikethis.com. Whatever company it is that you use to send your prints to, then that's what you need to check with them, find out what their requirements are. But this is just going to show you how to do it uh, for printlikethis.com. So our preview mode is sort of irrelevant, but you can leave it on normal, uh, enhanced if you have a very good computer that you uh, don't mind using all the processing for. That's fine too. Either way, it's it's probably not that bad on today's computers. So, all right, we're going to leave all this as it is. Our color settings, we're going to leave everything here just like you see it. sRGB, uh, as I said, the RGB is sort of irrelevant other than on screen. CMYK is going to be web coded swap v2 and the rest of this does not matter as long as you leave it the same and then we're just gonna say whoop, before I say okay I've got to come up here and say save it and I'm gonna name it business cards whoop. sorry about that alright and then just say okay and now it's gonna pop up a new page that is the correct size and then also what it's done is it's saved that Whoops. Okay, so you can see it's got the correct size 3.75 by 2.25. And then if I close this and I say new again, this time I'll just pick business card because this is the one we just added and say okay. And then bam. So that quickly I've got the correct size page without having to, you know, open up a new page and then change my page size here. It's just boom, there it is. Alright, so that's how you set up your page size for whatever product you need.